All right, welcome back into TCO Studios, joined now by Vikings offensive line coach and run game coordinator Rick Dennison, who um, asked me if we could do something daily on the website, but I said, that's too much, coach, that's too much. We're just going to do one before summer break. Most people that know me think that that would be a false statement. <laughs> yeah, you can see right through me. I'm just kidding. But we're, we are glad that you've come into the studio to share a little bit of your knowledge and for us to get to know you a little bit better because we haven't been introduced yet. So welcome into the studio. Thank you. How are you feeling so far? You, you're in this thing for a few months now with the Minnesota Vikings. You've been in the NFL for a long time. How do you feel about this squad? Well, I, I love it. I mean, I, I like the the energy the guys have. They all want to learn. They're, they're very eager to go out and uh, do what they're told, um, practice hard, you know, try and get better every day. So that's been good. The, the building's been really good. You know, everybody's very helpful. Um, just trying to get settled in, you know, have my family moving out. Uh, kind of as we speak, mm -hmm. uh, so we can get set up, set up shop around uh, the area, get the kids in school and whatnot. Good, lots going on, including going on. here with the football team. One thing I've been curious about, because you've been in the league for a while, and so has Zim, but I don't believe you guys have worked together. No, right? so, no, I've always competed against him. Yes, uh, but, but what do you not, think now? Well, I mean, he's pretty much, it, there's not a lot of hidden agendas with Coach Zim. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty straightforward. Uh, what he is, that's what that's what he is. What you portray, that's yeah. what he is. He's good. He's good to you, though. I mean, he just tells you what uh, he wants done, what he expects, and then lets you do your job. And, and a fun challenge, I think. Maybe frustrating sometimes, but also fun because iron sharpens iron. Going against that front every single day that he's developed. Here. Really good players, obviously. You know, and uh, we got our hands full, but that's good. Like you yeah. said, it makes makes uh, makes us train hard, makes us prepare hard. Yeah. So. One of the first things that the Vikings did in the offseason was get to work on the offensive line with your hiring and with player acquisition. So some of the new players, tell us about them, whether it be Garrett Bradbury or Josh Klein. Some of these new additions that we've got here, how are they coming along? They're coming along well. You know, Josh has uh, played in the league. He's played a lot of good football and uh, can do what we do. So uh, after watching him and he became available, we were fortunate to uh, mm -hmm. get him uh, in the fold, you know. Uh, guy I had last year, Dakota Dozier, was with the Jets and uh, had an opportunity to you know, give us a, a good player that knows what he's doing, good athlete. That's what we're trying to build is good athletes. You know, and we have some on the team, and, uh, went in the draft and, and uh, we're fortunate enough to, to get you know, three good players in the draft in various, various spots that you know, obviously Garrett put him in, give him a chance right off and then try and train Drew and, uh, and Ole and see how they develop. You know, it's, we get some veterans and so we get a good mix of young and old, you know. Um, like I said, they, they come to work eager to learn and do what, they do what you tell them to do. Yeah. What, what, was, um, what was it like for you guys when you saw Garrett there, but you knew you had Pat Elfline, who you also really liked, and both guys who have played center and guard What's that process like for a staff? Well, basically what you're trying to do is make sure you got a lot of good football players on yeah. your team. And uh, regardless of where you, you put them and just knowing that you have some flexibility, you know, and uh, just taking a look at the film and comparing to the other people that were at that slot, you know, we thought that Garrett would be a great addition um, and figure we can make, make something work out of that. You know, yeah. we know we're going to get a good football player and, um, you know, knowing we had a good football player in Pat. So yep. two of them were going to be on the field somehow, some way, potentially, and, and uh, you know, we'll work as we get there. Just yeah. having confidence that uh, those two players could adjust and do what we wanted them to do. With, um, with the starting tackles from last year, Riley Reef on the left side and Brian O'Neill on the right, you know, with Brian O'Neill, um, the narrative when he was selected was, he's a project, it's going to take him a couple years. But he got thrust into the action right away. You've watched the tape. I don't know how you feel. A lot of people feel he played pretty well. Uh, Riley Reef is just, he kind of quietly goes under the radar and is just solid. So that's the unprofessional opinion of those two <laughs> tackles. What's the professional opinion? Well, obviously, I see, I start with, uh, oh, do they know what they're doing? Mm -hmm. Right, and both of them do. Both of them study. They play hard. They they study hard, uh, and and are professionals about getting a job. You know, Riley's played a lot of football, and his experience is, you know, it's vast, and it's you, you can't replace it. He knows, uh, you know, what and and I like to play with what your body position, what how that guy is on your body. He knows how to play his body on a defender, mm -hmm. and he knows what to do with that. Um, 
So uh, he's been he's been great, you know, and trying to teach him, you know, things that I have worked with others before and see what he likes. And uh, he's done a great job over there, he and Pat together. So, and then certainly with Brian, you know, he's very athletic. And just like you said, he played well, you know, mm -hmm. the. The knock was too light, and, you know, yeah. not strong enough, not stout enough, but he's really proven that to be wrong. I think he's done a great job. Uh, and again, just trying to get him to use his abilities to his utmost, just yeah. like Riley. You know, each, each, each player's got different strengths and weaknesses, and we try to get them to exploit those strengths and, and work on the weaknesses. Yeah. Uh, how's Kevin Stefanski been doing? Has Kevin's been, been doing good. You know, he's easy to work with. You yeah. know, he, again, you know, he'll, he'll, tell you what he wants and then uh, gives you some freedom to, to work. But we spent a lot of time, you know, in, in February and March just watching tape. This is the way I feel and, and, and this is what he wants, you know, and obviously with Gary being around, I've been around him quite a while. So just trying to get it, uh, you know, common ground so we're all talking the same thing and we're all on the same page. The last question, I promise, um, you have an assistant coach, Andrew Janoko, who's been around here for a long time. and. I would imagine you appreciate the time he puts in and, and his assistance coaching the offensive line. Sure, I mean, it, you know, obviously the experience just around the players was invaluable when I first started. Mm -hmm. But uh, Andrew, Andrew's a Andrew, very smart guy. Uh, he knows how to run all the, you know, computers and stuff that I'm not, I may not be very good with, but above and beyond that, he's, he's a sponge for knowledge. Talk about technique. He's all in it. What have they done and before? He's been a great source because, uh, you know, Tony, a lot of respect for Tony and his ability to coach. And, you know, he's a sponge in, for knowledge from Tony. So we're, I'm, I'm taking, I'm stealing some ideas from him as we go through. And it's uh, just been great for us, you know, to, to hash things back and forth. We watch practice together. We, you know, talk about what we're going to try and do, how to get better in our drills yeah. uh, each day. Well, a belated welcome to Minnesota. Thanks for all your hard work. Have a good break here over the summer and we'll see you at camp, all right? Thank you very much, I appreciate it.